Hi guys, time for another pickups episode! Yay! Kinda still sweating, just uh, took a shower, put my son to bed. Um, well, I found an iPhone 5 at work, so I started to use it, changed the batteries, and I bought this awesome looking Sega Mega Drive cover. Uh, it's an officially licensed one from Japan. I saw it back when it came out in 2013, but I didn't have an iPhone 5 back then, so. Pretty sweet. I think it would fit around these iPhone SEs or CEs, like the budget model, because it looks kind of the same size-wise um, next to an iPhone 5. Um, if you want to look swag, you gotta have it. So on the thrift store, wasn't much this week for 75 cents. Picked up this Simpsons uh, mouse mat. Get duffed. And one game. For 175, that one was 75 cents. Tomb Raider Anniversary. I think this is actually a remake of the the very first game in high definition graphics. So that's uh, pretty sweet, actually. It's been a very long time since I last played the first Tomb Raider game. It's complete and in excellent shape. It was the only game there, so go figure why somebody would donate this or if somebody buys up games why they shouldn't pick up that one. Um, went to eBay just one evening and I said, damn, I want this game for a ton quite a ton long time. It was already offered at uh, 35 euros which is pretty cheap for this game. Offered this guy 30 and he accepted. Um, skeleton crew for the Mega Drive. It had a sticker here and on the cartridge there were also a lot of stickers but I was able to get get them all off professionally so I think that's why it was offering it a bit more cheaper it was also uh, um, advertised as Skeletor crew instead of Skeleton crew so that might also be a reason why nobody instantly bought it and to, oh, to get uh, cheaper shipping I also looked at the guy's other offerings he was asking 10 for this, I offered 5, he counter offered 7, so complete Genesis, an American copy of Home Alone. Looks actually, sorry guys, looks actually to be a pretty fun game this one. Um, yeah, so last Sunday I was able to go to a local flea market for half an hour before my wife called me and said, come home. <laughs> Your son is acting up, so didn't find a whole lot of great stuff there, but this one was a 1 euro. Die Hard 4.0, never seen this one, uh, probably not as good as the, the original two, but still, it was on Blu-ray, sorry, and it was only 1 euro, so why not? Damn, I'm tired. Then the lady, I, I bought toys from her quite a long time ago as well um, I don't know what the deal with her, she's like these two bags of cool toys and sometimes they even have the thrift store stickers still on them so she buys them at thrift stores but she resells them like for insane prices like everything I got should have been 5 euros and she said do 3 okay so even if she just paid 1 euro a piece uh, at the thrift store I mean, she, she kind of made a loss there, so I don't know. Uh, maybe she buys them for the grandchildren and those that they don't want, she, she tries to sell, I don't know. So part of the first Megazord, Sabretooth from the Yellow Ranger, pretty cool. It's my first part of the original Megazord. Then this little mask guy, I think this one is a bad guy, Venom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Then Shredder, Naked Shredder, uh, normally he comes with like this uh, uh, cotton cloth uh, that's almost never included when you find him second hand, so he looks kind of weird, I think it's a really weird figure, he looks, he looks a very anguished, I mean, I don't know, look at his face, <laughs> so strange figure. And then... Um, uh, one of the space going turtles, bit of ye bit of yellowing here on the front side, but otherwise in pretty good condition. 
th thought that was pretty cool. So, uh, and also included in the three euros were some GI Joe legs. And when I was like ten years old, I found a figure <sighs> like this. Um, and I had I kept it ever since. And now I found some matching legs. It aren't his original legs, but at least they're the same color, so I can make a complete G.I. Joe figure here. Yes. And then on another boot for 20 cents, picked up the bad guy from the Thunderbirds. <laughs> I have like the ship and a lot of the figures, so 20 cents. Yay. Yeah. And then I was feeling kind of empty inside for not being able to purchase any video games, so I did a horrible thing. I purchased from a reseller. He had a game that I thought I might uh, like, and I never quite come across it that easily. Ski or die! <sighs> and he wanted 10 for it. Eh. So I was trying to bundle shit up to get a cheaper deal on this NES game. And I picked up a PSP game, uh, Tron Evolution. I just saw the movie, so I thought it would be cool to play this game. Didn't get rave rev reviews. And this one is a pretty awesome game. Batman, the animated, uh, the Brave and the Bolt. It's designed by Wave Forward, and it's like a side-scroller, a 2D side-scroller. You know, it looks kind of awesome. You would never tell from the cover. So they won 12 for this, 6 for this, and 10 for this, that, that's 28, and I haggled her down to 25, and I had a hard time. <laughs> so yeah, 3 games, not the cheapest, but hey, I wasn't finding anything else that is free market. There was this one guy with like Street Fighter X3 on the PS2. Two and an, 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 uh, some other cool uh, PS3 games, but it was all stuff I already had. So I, I want to downscale on things I don't have, uh, on things I have. I don't want to buy doubles anymore. I kind of dislike it. I'm going to sell them or trade them. So I made this awesome trade with uh, Emlyn. I don't know if he still watches the channel. He lives in the neighborhood, and he, he traded me this, this. And these two cool Game Gear games, Terminator 2 and Terminator 4, um, two laser discs, uh, gotta remember the title, uh, the fifth element and cliffhanger, uh, a loose Saturn game uh, NBA Jam tournament edition, which he had actually had the case for, and a review copy of Ico and Shadow of the Colossus for PS3. So yeah, pretty good deal. I think we're both happy with the end result. And I got some new stuff I didn't have. Yeah. So, oh, one last thing. Yeah. From the, the, the my actual toy store downtown. Well, I'll I'll switch. So to get some more room in the game room, my. Um, local game shop, Game Buster, was throwing this rack out. So I, uh, it was for free, so I picked it up to put in my game room. Uh, a lot of the plastic things, these things were broken, so I kind of doubled it up. Normally it was a higher rack, but I made a double rack out of it, so on both sides. And I'll put it in the game room, put like the, the Wii games or something in there. It was free, so why not? Yay. For this week's pickups, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe.